Hey everyone, how you doing today? Welcome to Extra Step. You're here with your favorite people in the world. The K Meister. And Derwin, how's it going? I'm blessed, blessed, blessed. blessed. It's been a long week. It's been I a know, really I stressful know. week. I hear that. It's been, it's been super stressful just watching the Raptors and the Golden State Warriors go at it. And I would just say, like, it's been a great series. Like, I know it's 3-2 now. Yeah. Um... But I think the I think the Raptors have done a great job so far. They just need to get it done. Well, yeah, no, I think so too. I, I think I, let's just get right into it because I think like even though it's a three-two series, we can look at both the games that they won um, at Scotiabank Arena and go, you know what? Like take away one or two possessions. Oh yeah. The Raptors probably come away with both those games, and you know it's a sweep or it's a short, it's a much shorter series than going back to Game Six in Oracle. No, that was one thing I wanted to avoid was like the Raptors having a three-one lead was to go back to Oracle, but you know. Um, Can I ask you this question out the gate just to kind of get it stirred up a little bit? Sure thing. Where do you think Curry stands? What do you mean? In what? In Is what he way? really a top three player? Well, yo, know, it's it's because like of the way he he makes he makes a difference. First of all, I haven't even answered my question. So I don't know why you're giving me a face. I'm telling you the reasons. No, he is not a top three player because of the things he does not do. He cannot defend the ball. Okay, he's one of a, he's actually a really poor defender. He's um, on offense. Let's be honest. Like, what's his what's his real role? He's not. He's a point guard, but he didn't become a point guard until he was in high school. So like th- that way, he's more aggressive as a point guard, which is fine. You know what? It works for their system. I just don't know if in, in another system it works. Even if he is the best shooter of all time. Um best catch and shoot. But no, it's it's not even about catch and shoot, Kadeen. Like he, he can he can create his own, I think. And I think that's what you saw in the t- twenty sixteen regular season. That's why he won unanimous MVP was because he was able to create for himself, because he was able to shoot the way he shot. Well, yeah, anyone could do that in the regular season. The regular season is the regular season. No but then, no, but then we have, but then we have MVPs for regular season. Fair right? enough, and that, that that makes sense, right? When I played in the YMCA league, we had an MVP for season, an MVP for of finals. Course, of course. The MVP for the season was on the last place team, averaging about like twenty eight or like no, he was having like thirty five a game, and then the finals MVP. I got why how because did, I was close. How did the last place team get the MVP? That makes no sense. Well, he was scoring the most points, so they clearly loved him off because he could create his own bucket. Okay. That's legit Fair why enough. I know he Fair got enough. it. So to me, it's just kind of listen. Curry's a great player. The Warriors are a very balanced team when they run a you know run their offense, but the Raptors are just better. But what I was telling what I was telling our producer Johnny earlier was that like if you look at the players that were that were such a big helps. In the 2015 run, in the 2016 run, Livingston, Iguodala. They're still um, there. They're still there. They're just not making a difference. They're not They're not the same players they were. Like Livingston, Livingston's 37, Iguodala's 36, 35, I'm not 100% sure. They're not the same players, obviously. Like, you can't. Yeah, I, like, I feel bad for Iguodala because he has to go out every night to guard Kawhi. He can't do nothing to him. Like, literally, nothing faces him. And, like, I feel like, look at Iguodala. The guy got MVP of the finals because he. he Try to stop LeBron, right? No, like even if they win this series, like he, they're not gonna give him MVP because he couldn't do shit against Kawhi, right? I think Clay gets it. <laughs> if they win MVP, I, I don't know. <laughs> no, nah, if they win, it'll probably be Steph they because they'll feel bad for him. Like, yeah. So it's about time, you know. You, you know that kid keeps coming last or missing out award, and he starts crying. Like, okay, here you go, Billy. Exactly. Here's your gold medal. Um, I do want to say something about <clears throat> going back to Kawhi. So uh, there was a stat that I that I saw yeah. um, in game four. Kawhi dropped thirty six, right? Mm-hmm. Zero. Okay. What was the zero? Zero turnovers. He's the first person since Michael Jordan in the NBA Finals to drop thirty plus points and have zero turnovers. Yeah. I think it's it's starting to get to a point where I know we're gonna have this conversation some more, obviously, but. Are we going to give Kawhi a go? Like, is Kawhi going to be one of those players that he's going to con- be considered a go? No, listen, hypothetically, he wins a championship this year, all right? He'll be a two-time M- a finals MVP, because obviously they're going to give him the finals. He's going to be a two-time champion. And the one thing that he has on Michael, he's got two defensive player um, awards. And he's only 27. Okay, fair Michael enough. didn't win his first ring until he was 28. Okay, fair enough. That, that you're completely right. But here's the issue I have with that. A, he starts to prove himself. Absolutely. Right? absolutely. Yes, he gets it done in the playoffs. I, I believe in Kawhi. I get all that. But to me, if you want to be considered a GOAT, 
You got to dominate at all times. You well, can't okay, be so, a man okay, as a bad okay, man. So let's, yeah. let's go back to how we set up our GOAT conversation. I think you and I, are, we understand that there's not one player in the NBA that could be so dominant that could take out every other player. I think that we've tried to establish that to a point where we've broken down by eras. So every 10 okay. years, there's okay. always been one player okay, that dominates enough. the league, okay? Yeah. Maybe you have one player beside him that will dominate as well, but not the way. Uh, if you want to go, we'll go back to the 60s, Bill Russell. He had Will Chamberlain in the league, but Bill Russell was the guy. Uh, you can go to the 70s, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was doing his thing. 80s, Magic and Larry. Everyone knew Magic, okay, I don't want to say at the time everyone knew it, but Magic was clearly the better player. Yeah. You know, end up, he ended up with the more rings. He he's looked at as Los Angeles as you know maybe their second the best player of all time maybe their best player, whatever the conversation. Obviously Mike Mike in the nineties, Kobe and Shaq in the two thousands, and then uh, LeBron in the two thousand and tens and after. I'm just saying if this if if Giannis was supposed to be the player, I think Giannis is still a couple of years away from being that guy in the league. I think it's got to be Kawhi first. And then we'll give it to Giannis. Because now, obviously, with the Kevin Durant injury, we don't know how long he's going to be out for. Really. I'll, I'll say this, and it's not a shot at Kawhi, because I do believe he's going to get there. But you are getting two big names in this league right now that are probably the most unstoppable guys ready. And one even get a chance to make the playoffs and prove himself again, as he's done before okay, and but, last year. Well, and the next one got injured. I understand Kawhi is an unbelievable force, but let's see him go at KD 100. Let's see him go toe-to-toe -to -toe against LeBron now in the finals to actually prove himself. Because I get it, he's done in 2014, all that, but LeBron's a better player than he was then. A smarter player. Absolutely. And okay. And, so and when you Kawhi. use your IQ, and I'm, okay, Kawhi's a much smarter player too. I get it. But LeBron's a much, much smarter player. Look how old he was and how much he was dominating last year. Same thing with KD. He's a smarter player. Yes, he's playing for a stock war. Well, I'm just letting you know. He's so Kawhi. Kawhi. Like, if you take Kawhi from that 17, um, that 17 playoff run where he got injured against the Warriors, that's a different series, right? Yes yeah. or no? They were yeah. up by 20 in the yeah. first game. If he doesn't get injured, maybe they don't sweep the Warriors, but... They, the Warriors did not look as dominant um, in that series compared to whatever. Like, they, they, come on, they had not lost the game in the 17 playoffs until that game where they were on the verge of losing. Then Kawhi gets injured. We go, that's a different story. And then even in the finals, like, LeBron only got one game on them in that 17, in the 17 playoffs. So I'm not going to say, I'm not going to sit here and tell you no. Kawhi is a much better player than he was. You, you, yeah, you all know that. Yeah, but what I'm telling you right now is there's one thing that separates Kawhi from all these greats that we keep talking about, and that's his defense. Okay. We gotta be you, you for for you to be considered an all time great. You gotta do a couple things, right? Right. First, yes. you gotta win. Yeah. That's obvious. Second, you gotta dominate your era. Mm -hmm. You see all the greats; they do it. Yeah. Is is it? But like, what I'm asking you is it Kawhi's turn? To dominate this era, like is he gonna for the next couple he's of years? A candidate, but are we he, gonna look at Kawhi and be like, all right, he's, he's a guy. candidate, he's but the guy in the league? But who's to say Giannis doesn't develop that jump that's shot? What next I'm, year. That's, that's my and issue by, too. By right? next year, not even by yeah. the next five years, he gets that jump shot by next year. That's it. It's a wrap. Giannis mm -hmm. is gonna end up owning the league, no matter what his team does going forward. Because you have to understand, Kawhi did come to a top two team in the NBA or a top three team in the NBA. No, well, yeah. Well, so this we, year, yeah, this so, year they're top three. So uh, listen. Kawhi needs to go, like, like, how I look at it and how every basketball player knows, if you want to be the best on the court, on the playground, you got to take out the best. KD ain't you there right now, but I can still you, take you out the best. He's team. done that, though. He's done that before. Well, he, well, he's done it before as not the top player. He no, was, no, this year, this year. This year, well, he, he, this year he, took out, he took out Giannis realistically by himself. Uh, Joel Embiid was, was sick, so I'm not even going to compare him. Right? But you see that, they, they, yeah, Joel Embiid's not on that list. But the thing with KD is that between him and KD, and I, listen, like, if there's anybody here that vouch for Kyle Kawhi or KD, you definitely want, I, you know it would be me. But I also know the reality is that, yo, KD's a bad man. He's, a, he's, he's, a, he's, healthy, a, he's absolutely On that absolutely. Warriors team, I don't know what happens. Because I saw what happened in the regular season, and in that one game we went toe-to-toe, -to -toe, he dropped 49 with just only Clay. You add Steph. 51. 51, sorry. We add Steph. You add Draymond in that game. It's a different story. He has his guys, and you're, you have you're to right, your role right. players to come at him. What I'm going to well. argue is that he had to take those shots. Just like in game four, Steph Curry knew he had to have a big game because Clay, um, Kevin Durant was it? Sorry, game three. 
of the finals. He knew Clay Thompson was in there. Kevin Durant was still injured. So he knew he had to take those shots. Why yeah. did he drop 47 points? They lost the game. Yeah, but it's a different It's the same thing. thing. Like, no, like, there's a difference. Clay, in, in the game, in the regular season, the game that you're talking about, Clay dropped 25 points. And they still lost in overtime. So I can't, you can't, I can't sit here and, and, and vouch for this Warrior team when I, when I fully look at Kawhi and being, this guy really is the guy who's going to stop this, this dynasty. He did it to Miami. Look at Miami. He, 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 that team dispersed after that playoff run. Right? LeBron left. Chris Bosh was never the same well, player. Dwayne Wade was on his downfall after that. Oh, they were not the same. They were. They could never be the same anyways. team. He was going to leave anyways, LeBron. Come on. That's you fine. know that. That's fine. Fine. That team was going to be dead anyways. But sorry, I just... I, I just... Like, I'm looking at Kawhi right now. If he wins another ring... And if he stays in Toronto... And then... Move. And then... Like, say... Okay, say hypothetically... He, he stays in Toronto. They're still a nice team. That he wins back-to-back... Then, then what is this argument we're going to If have? he needs to be the GOAT, he's got to go back-to-back. Back. Every legend has gone back-to-back. Yeah, back. yeah. If you don't go back-to-back, back, you don't get the right to be in that conversation. Enough, so he has to earn that right, and he has to play healthy and dominant and be the best player from start to finish. Okay, I will, I will say this, is. and I, I mean, you can hold me to it or whatever. Uh, the, 90, the 1990 and the 1991 uh, NBA Finals were won by, by one team. They went back-to-back. The Detroit uh, Pistons, the bad boy era. Okay. My my what what I have a problem with you saying about the goat is that if you look at Isaiah Thomas was clearly the best player on that team. Yeah. He never got that recognition because he was in the league. As, but but you see but you see who, who he took him out to win those two rings right oh. because they faced Chicago both those years. See, that's the difference between Isaiah Thomas and Kawhi. Isaiah Thomas can't shut down Michael Jordan. Absolutely. Kawhi, Absolutely. you put him on that Detroit team back in the day, he going to shut down Jordan, right? I because know. he's a guy that can guard a guy like Jordan. That's why you say, okay, who's the GOAT? Who's the next guy that says, I'm the baddest man on the court. When you come on the court, you can't get anyone to guard me. And I'm going back. I'm going run after run after run. If you go to a drop and run, right? Who's we can say the best team, the best guys are the ones that continue winning their game. That's true. Yeah. So if Kawhi want to be in that conversation, it can't be a okay. I'm gonna win, and then he gets hurt, and that's not his fault. He gets hurt, but he's got to be able to find a way to stay healthy and prove himself. And I think he will. But let's relax. I don't think he's he's close to the goal conversation, but he ain't there yet. I, okay, that's that's totally fair. All right. Um, I think that's that's gonna be wrap, That's gonna wrap it up for at least our first segment. Um. So, obviously, you know, our next segment is going to be with our producer, Johnny. It's our rapid-fire segment. So, every week, Johnny comes up with four questions to ask us. And uh, we'll do our best to debate. And hopefully, you know, turn some heads. <laughs> when are we ready, Johnny? Okay, first one. Should there be more steps in clearing an injured player to play? No. Yes. You can go ahead. Yeah. Well, like, no, because it's just like, it's it's already a good system. It's either you take ownership of your players, and if they're not good enough, you tell them no, or if you want to let them play and take the risk, then you take the hit. Well, like, I'll say yes, because, like, we've seen science go so far now. Players are playing a lot longer than they used to play, because science is, science helps. Sorry, health science has gotten science so helps. far to a point where, you know, guys are getting treated, like, 100%. There's no, like, this and that. I don't know. Like if you're injured, don't play. Like I, I get it. It's a different story with the NBA Finals. But if you're injured during a regular season, don't come back. I feel bad for KD, but in that situation, a Finals game, any human being, especially when you work at last, no, you're gonna totally do it. You're gonna say fuck science. And at the end of the day, yo, you know your body best. Exactly. Science can't tell you that. I don't care what science can do. You know your body, so you know what you can do. But you don't. Okay, but like, but he should have. Katie's like he could. He didn't know his muscles. Well, he was like, an idiot. <laughs> he he felt too nice. and was like, oh, I'm put the ball on the floor. All you had to do was just catch and yeah, shoot. Yeah, no, no. Fine. You catch and shoot, he would have been fine. He was just being an idiot. Right, uh, you know, yeah. he is dominant player. All right, Johnny. Next question. Next one. Is the NBA doing enough to review plays? What? Is the NBA doing enough to review plays? Hey, what do you mean by plays? Like, you need like, to go over, like... Like, are you talking about, like, like when we had those whistles? Like, out of bounds? Or, like, yeah, yeah. Like, like, the talking about the missed foul calls? Oh, so you're talking about the report, the official yes. report. Oh, um, okay, that's so much... Okay, go ahead, go ahead. I mean, the NBA is doing enough. Like, you have to understand, like, technology shows everything. So, if we were back in the 50s and 40s, we wouldn't see all this. Even in the 80s, you wouldn't see all this. So, as human beings, we just have to live it. I'm pissed off, too, but... Yo, we got to live with it. 
it was a missed call. Mm -hmm. It was bad on the refs. The best thing we could do is that, you know, we could go forward and say, hey, look out for that next time. That's it. As, as coaches, we know when we talk to the ref, we tell them every time, hey, look out for this call next time. That's it. That's all you could do because it's in the past now. Mm -hmm. The NBA has done what it can do. If it does anymore, it's going to ruin the game. Um, okay, so uh, for me, I, I, think, I think being an NBA ref is super hard. Uh, there's so much ha that so much happens, you know what I mean? Like the play is so fast and whatnot. It's just hard to keep up with sometimes. My issue is these reports afterwards. The game's over. You don't need you don't need these reports. Why are you why are you releasing it to the public? Because all the public does now is gonna look at this report and be like, oh, the refs are this, the refs are bad. The, the NBA is giving their own employees a bad rep by these reports because these reports are showing that these refs are missing these calls and live action. But you go back, it's a lot easier when you're looking at it through a video screen, right? When you're looking through a recording, okay, yeah, oh, that for sure that's a foul. Oh, yeah, okay, let me write. No, no, fuck that report. That's garbage. Like cook, like Kidding said, it's in the past. What can you do now? But but the, the report has some importance because it's it gives us it shows that something that we can't do anything the, about. It makes the refs accountable. Now before the refs could call their bad calls, the crowd, the, the world wouldn't know and it'd be whatever. We'd have to go forward. Now at least, at least, at least with the NBA doing enough now, they could actually be like, hey, you made a mistake. It's in the past, but you have to be accountable. I just, it's make. not like the refs are getting, like, you know, like, I haven't seen a ref get fired because they made a bad, made a bad call yet. So. No, but they get switched out of games. Like, well, yeah. No tomorrow. All right, that's your third question, sir. What's one piece of advice you have for Adam Silver? Regarding what? Regarding anything. The NBA? Like Yo! Have... We need another damn Canadian team, bro. I'm oh, tired of this oh shit. I don't give a shit where. We need another damn Canadian team. Stop it. Take All one right. of those shitty ass California teams, bro. There's like fucking four of them. Stop. They don't need so many damn California teams. Bring Stop. one over to Canada. Stop. I have no okay. problem with that. Stop. California has the same population as our it's country. Bigger. They have bigger, bigger, it bigger enough. So they have a right to have as many teams yeah, as well. Yeah, but then you so know, nice no, but as fans, you don't get to cheer no, for the right team. We have then, Canada's team. Why would know. we want another team? Why do you want a team in Vancouver for? I, I want them I to cheer for us. Where? Yeah, Where? Do. Don't even say Toronto, because I'll kick Montreal, you out of here. Montreal, Montreal. What do you want the French to have it for? What's wrong with the French, yo? Too bad, let them stay there. They don't need a team. Yo, they, 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 the they, they didn't watch the Expos play. They barely watch the Canadians play. Okay, relax, they suck. Relax, they relax. didn't make the playoffs? No. You're telling me if there's a Montreal team that don't make the playoffs out there, they're going to go watch it? Yeah, no. I'm no. Sure the Canadian team, like the Montreal Canadians games are always sold out. It's because they like hockey. They are all kind of white people. Okay, so then you're telling me there's no Raptor fans in, in Montreal with yeah. the change? Yeah, so yeah, there, there you Raptor. go. You said it right there. Raptor fans. Yeah, but we didn't call them Montreal Raptors too? This is not AAU never, basketball. I never this said is, that. I said, well, no, you said the Raptor no, no, fans. You know, you can make a Montreal no, team. And then whoever wants to be bandwagons of those te of that team. So you're going to tell the Montreal it. fans that love the Raptors now, you have to cheer for this team. They're going to be like, You don't have to. You don't have to. But they're going to have to. They're going to choose to They're going to have to. They got to pay the bills for that team. They got to show up so they can actually make some money to pay the players. I still, I still like that. Say another Canadian team. No, no. I'm fine with the Raptors. Keep it to the Raptors. I don't want any other team in our country. Well, what's your advice for Adam Silver? Oh, yes. I didn't even get to that. Oh, have that play in tournament. I think from... I think from the from the seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth rankings and standings in each division, they should have a play-in tournament for the last two spots. Baseball does it, and I know baseball is a boring sport, but let's be real: when they have the playoffs in the wild card, ooh, yeah, I get, no, a, little, I get wild, a little excited. The wild card introduced a whole new segment, right? And, and, and I think for hockey, it's kind of worked. I think with the the way they have, they should they can yeah. work out they can work out their conference and work out the better division, but. For the NBA, they need more action. They have to have less games, mm -hmm. right? If you have less games, this is a perfect way, right? Now you have a mid-season tournament, right? Adam, have that and have the top, like, four teams, each conference, go at it. And then at the end of the season, you have a play-in tournament. Now you just made up for the games that you wouldn't have anymore. Genius. You make more money. People want to come see that. I don't want, I don't care. If my team's ninth place and they're not making the playoffs again, I'm going to get pissed off. I want my team at least have a chance, a one-game chance to go out there and make an upset because we all love upsets in basketball. March Madness is one of the well, biggest upsets, tournaments in the world for that reason. Real, realistically, right? Right? So I think it'd be a great idea. Adam, you, I know you're thinking of it. Just do it. Like Nike. Just do it. All right. And your, your last question today? Okay. So if the Raptors do the thing on Thursday, 
Who deserves to hold the trophy first? Lowry, who's been here for seven years, or Kawhi, the MVP? Um, you go first. Don't they give it to the owner right away? They do, but then the owner's a player. Oh, obviously. So which player? Which one? Well, they're going to get MVP, right? And then they're going to give out the trophy. Why are you taking this on? Just answer it. It's at two names. Take Answer. Why are you scared of answer? answer? You know what? I'll give it to Kyle, just because he's been here for so long. And he's never won a ring. I mean, Kawhi's, Kawhi's got the ring already. He, he knows the feeling of holding that trophy. Let Kyle have it for like his, his two seconds, three seconds. And then you give it back to Kawhi. <laughs> so I'm a shock world here. should give it to me. Yeah. Because yeah. I love my Raptors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want the whole trophy. Okay, listen. On a real note, it's Kawhi. Why are we here? Kawhi. Why are we going to win a championship if we win it? Kawhi. Not Kyle Lowry. We see the MVP already. It's not Kyle Lowry. It's Kawhi. If it wasn't for Kawhi, we would never be here. He's in the MVP trophy already. His hands are too full. Let's give it to Kyle. Let it be full. Then Let we'll his pockets hang. Then, then when Kawhi can get rid of him, then I'm going to just keep this here, and then I'm going to take the trophy. Kyle Lowry is good enough where I'll get that second. Because that's good. You know on hockey, sometimes they give it to that veteran, the second guy. Do the same thing. Don't give it to Kawhi. Well, that's what I'm saying. So start with, the, give start it to with the owner, president, and then from there, you give it to Kawhi. Kawhi, Kawhi, Kawhi. yeah. You said it right. Kawhi. So, no, I said Kawhi. You? you said Kawhi. I said give it to Kawhi. <laughs> Why not? You give it to Larry right after. If this man you has know, sacrificed bro, his leg, he has sacrificed his leg. When we got the Easter sac- Conference trophy, this guy didn't want to hold it. Because it's not the real thing. <laughs> Kyle did it. Kyle got all happy. Kyle was like, Kyle he don't win nothing. He was at Villanova, didn't win nothing. He was at, he, at Memphis, bench. He was at Houston, just starting this. He comes to Toronto, he's been getting slapped up by media. He finally got the hold something. He feels nice now. So then let him have the trophy no. too. No, after. Nah, nah, not to, you're not taking away from the man that got us here. No, I'm not taking Let it away. Let him hold the I'm trophy. He wants that trophy more than anybody else on that team. And you know it. I bet you, I, okay. You I bet know you, it. He'll, he'll probably push Kyle in front of him. I bet you that he's that humble enough. He'll that hold that, that trophy first, because if I am that president of that organization, Messiah Jerry, you give that to Kawhi to make him resign. You give it to you give it to Kyle, you're gonna regret it. Cause you're gonna be like, why you give it to that man? I got you here. Not him. I did. You see DeRozan? He's on the West now. He's gone. He's vanished. Well, give you know what? Me. Since you're since you're already sounding off, why don't you just why don't we just take it to our next segment, which is your which is can you sound off already? Um, and you can sound off on that. Listen, listen, listen. First of all, don't let me sound off on you, okay? Don't give me a little lip there. All right, now I'm playing around. All right, so I got to go off on KD because I, I, listen, I understand as a player that you want to be competitive. You want to go out there and win it, but you have to be realistic. You have a calf injury or an Achilles injury. Shut up. Sit down. I don't care what the people say about you. You're looking to leave. You now messed up your chances to make money. And now what you did is just played into the Warriors. Bob Myers was crying. Okay, he was crying. He felt a little sincere. Uh, sincere. Oh, but guess what? Today, he's probably smiling. Because mm-hmm. he's like, you have to take that player option. I can sign back Clay now. I can make you change up that little contract because you're hurt. I can keep my team. I can tell Draymond bye-bye after next year. So what you did is now say, okay, I'm going to stay and go and stay worried. That's cool. But if you want to make money, if you wanted to go have your own team and actually build your own legacy like you're trying to do, and I think you should do, you should have never played. All right? That's stupid. With an injury like that, you don't get on the court. I'm so annoyed with that. Like, um, No. So there was, there was reports that before the game happened that Jalen Rose, uh, players that were close to Kevin Durant had spoken to him, Jalen Rose, Kendrick Perkins were pl- some of those players. And... At the time, it was Kevin Durant's choice, but as as former players, they told him, "Hey, it's probably not the best thing for you to go play out. You're coming into an NBA Finals. Like you've been out for three, like however long it is, it's been now. Uh, it's just bad for your body to get. Into, it's gonna be hard for your body to get into rhythm. Obviously, Kevin Durant is a top three player in the league. Obviously, like no no questions asked. He's a he's a, one of the greats of all time. So when he came to that game right away, he looked like. He looked like he was not even hurt. Like he went three for three right away. He was just catching the ball. That's switch, adrenaline. Switch, right? Perk- That's all it was. But then Perky said it himself. It was adrenaline. If you have adrenaline, you're gonna want to go. But then as soon as he put the ball on the on the floor, then like you. Know. She just kept doing catch and shoot yeah. like a smart little monkey you are. 
Alright? So then you'd have been good. You're so rude. I'm rude because he's an idiot. That's his fault. Why would you do that? This is not like I don't understand. Like you no, want no. three rings to catch Jordan? You're you're not catching Jordan if you get four. So it doesn't matter. Because Jordan's gonna look at you. Well, like, he, you know, he would still be like if, you know, he, he if like, they win this ring, it'll be his third regardless. I did it myself. Yeah, yeah. I, I did it myself. That's what Jordan's gonna say. Boy, yeah, yeah, no. LeBron's gonna be like, did it myself. All of them like did it myself. You're still trying to catch us. Get seven rings and then talk. Mm -hmm. And even then, like uh, people are still gonna have the argument that he was with, he was on a team that was so great. Like he didn't lead his own team. I know in stats wise, he definitely did. Like in the first in the seventeen finals, he put up what thirty five points. It was just ridiculous. Right. But then again, like he still had an, an MVP beside him. I want a little side note for you haters out there, especially LeBron haters. Just know LeBron didn't go to no seventy three nineteen. I just like to remind y'all that. He, he decided to make his own team. He made his own team. But he at least he, he, but he, it was said, still pretty at least he said, Stack, the second, fourth best player was Mario Chalmers. It's still pretty sad. It was Mario Chalmers. It was Mario Chalmers. And he didn't want to play luxury tax. Okay? He didn't want to go that much. Well, Their starting five was Golden Joel State. Anthony from Montreal. from Montreal. From oh, Montreal. Yeah, he's, he's, he's on the Montreal. Best. He's, he's on the Montreal. He is a lot time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Jamal McGlory would have done a better job oh, there. Man, that's horrible. Okay, oh, so we're not getting move on from this. Move okay, so it. and uh, it's, it's on to our last segment, which is our uh, our door winners and our door losers of the week. Um, so my door winner of the week, I'm gonna give it to the Raptors. Ian, I know I, I like to choose the Raptors for obvious reasons, uh, but I but I heard a stat the other day. So since 2015, which mm -hmm. is Steve Kerr's first season in Golden State after he took over from Art Jackson. Went to win the end up winning the, the championship that year. Uh, no team has beaten a Steve Kerr uh, Golden State Warrior team at home more than twice. Raptors did it already three times this, in this one year. So the Raptors are the first team in six years to be able to beat a team that at home is like unbelievable. Like when you like when that place gets rocking, like it's hard to play there. Like I've I've been like watching it and. As a DeRozan, when sorry, when the team was under DeRozan, and whenever we used to go there, they were always close games. Like, don't get it twisted, but it was always at the end where we used to lose it. With Kawhi, it's different, right? Kawhi knows when he has to take that shot. He doesn't. He's not gonna shy away from the win. So I'm gonna give it to the Raptors for doing something that no other team was able to do. Think about how many playoff runs this team has been through. Look how many teams they face in the West. The West is supposed to be the harder conference, and you're telling me no team was able to to get to. Two wins against you in the playoffs and in the regular season, that's that's crazy. Like that's that's that that's why this has to be like your winner of the week. Um, now, when it comes for the loser, I'm going to go back to Oracle. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick that fan that uh, decided it was a it was a good idea to push Kyle Lowry when Kyle Lowry went for the ball in Game Four. Unacceptable, obviously. I know there's a lot of fans that are gonna say hey, this and that in that moment. That's fair. You know what? When you watch the replay, that guy was nowhere close. Kyle was nowhere close to that guy. The guy that he bumped actually goes like this to him. Like, are you okay, Kyle? But the other guy turns and pushes him. Why? You have no reason to push him. Stop it. You're a part owner. You go to every goddamn game. You're on the sideline of a game four of NBA Finals. And that's, that's, that's the level of respect that you have for the opponent. Let me push him. And apparently, they asked him why. Oh, because he got close to my wife. Was, who was standing up at the time? Not even sitting down. She was standing up in her like by her seat. And when Kyle Lowry came close to her, that's the man. That's how the man reacted. So for this week, my dear loser has got to be that fan. And I hope the NBA. Sorry, not I hope the NBA reacted well by giving him a year ban. But I would like to see them take away his ownership too. You're an owner of the team. You don't need to be a part see, of that. See, this is what happens when you have white privilege. It's. This man thought, I'm an owner, I'm a white man, there's a black man I can push him. I don't care where you are in America in this world. You don't touch any player on the court. You said it completely right. He's a waste man. He needs to know better. He needs to lose his ownership. Because the enemy took it away from, what's his name, Donald Sterling? Yeah, exactly. Take it away from this guy. Who is this man? He's only, like, he's only a part of share, so he only has like 6%. Who is so this man? Like you look like you have two daughters named Veronica and Becky. <laughs> Okay? And tell Becky to go do what Becky loves to do. I ain't gonna say it on, on camera. I don't wanna say it. <laughs> Becky likes to, you know? Okay. I'm saying it. <laughs> I, think, I think with that, we're gonna end our show. Good. Because, <laughs> you know, it's been an interesting one. Obviously, uh, so the Raptors play game six tomorrow night in Oracle. Last game in Oracle Arena. 
Yo, let's make it a celebration for the Raptor fans. Uh, yeah, we already did it in Game 4, you know? Why can't we do it in Game 6, too? <laughs> do the tough All right, guys. Tough, I think tough, that's tough, all the time tough. we have. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe until you can't do it no more. Thank y'all. Have a great day. Take care.